Good evening and welcome to Unconventional Journey. This is Daniel tucked away in his little apartment office. Today is February 20th, 2018. Some of you may be interested in teaching abroad, but face that insurmountable mountain of just can't. Well, I want to offer you 10 reasons why teaching abroad is so amazing. As well, I want to offer some other possibilities if you don't feel you're ready. I also want to offer a few simple personal resources that helped me when I came out here to China. Before I begin, I want to expose one possible stigma or stereotype as you might call it. That is that ESL teachers are portrayed as not exactly cream of the crop. Out here in China, the need for English teachers is great and thus you get all sorts of characters characters with zero qualifications, or even characters with a lot of qualifications, but still you get a feeling they are a little off. It is a valid stereotype, and that is why we need good teachers to come out here and change this portrayal of the West as loose, immoral drunks, yes I said it, and show these other countries the wonderful people who teach our children at home. Generally, when you work at a decent job, however, you will be surrounded by more professional individuals who take their work seriously. Thus, I want to share this caveat so there are no surprises. Let's begin our top 10 list. Number one, challenge. Challenges are what make us grow. Challenges are what help us to do more than we thought we were capable of doing. Number two, experience. There is nothing wrong with living in the same town we grew up in. Many people are satisfied with that. However, if the opportunity arises where you can venture out for a little while and learn something new and experience something new and do something different, it will be an experience you will not regret. Number three, cultural understanding. It is important to broaden our cultural understanding. There are so many different cultures in the world. And when you just expose yourself to one different culture, one different culture where you are the minority your cultural understanding will grow dramatically. Number four, learning a new language, a new geography, new cuisine. Most people have a more or less accurate idea of where Beijing is and maybe even where Shanghai is. But if I told you to find Chengdu or Udumuchi or Xinyang or Dalian, you might not be able to. That is new geography. If I told you that to read 95% of Chinese, you need to know at least 3,000 characters, that sounds difficult, yet possible. If I told you that Hong Kong uses traditional Chinese characters, and most places use simplified Chinese characters, you might be surprised. You just learned something new. If I told you I like Sichuan food versus Dongbei cuisine or Beijing duck, you might be confused. There is so much to learn when you move to a new place. Number five, making an impact. Now, maybe in China you are not catering to people that are less privileged. You are catering to people that are more privileged. But imagine one of those students of yours grows up to be, well, the leader of China. This is possible. You might laugh and think it's not, but it is possible. Many of the children and students that we cater to and that we teach they come from more privileged families. And this is something that the world needs. We can make a big impact on these type of students and they can have a better understanding of Western culture and Western ideas because we brought them to them. And this is something that the world needs, a sharing of ideas, especially to those who are leaders. Number six, many job opportunities. All you need to do is Go to Google and look up some job openings. There are many, many different job opportunities. So if you find yourself 
in a lull and you don't have a job right now, this is one option that's out there. I know plenty of people that were able to pay off their college debts because they decided to pack their bags, get on a plane, and come out here to China. Maybe you don't want to be teaching and you want to do other job, but if you do your homework, you will certainly find the job for you. Number seven, many different types of jobs. You could be teaching pre-K students to teaching businessmen. The possibilities are endless. Just so you know, I taught pre-K, K, grades one, two, three, four, and five, as well as adults. I'm currently a second grade homeroom teacher. There are other jobs in education companies as well, or even other companies that need training or English services. Number eight, salary. Depending on the country you go to, some offer decent salary packages. You'll make the most, especially if you work at an international school. And given the caliber of students in the course that I'm taking, many of you have teaching licenses and you have an education background, so you can certainly find a great job. Imagine paying off student loans three times faster than expected. Number nine, traveling. This is a reason why many teachers teach abroad, so that they can travel during their off time. And number 10, personal development. I want to reiterate this point. You will learn how to teach ESL. And these skills will be able to be used when you go back home to teach students. Finally, I want to talk about some different resources when finding a job. There are many sites out there that do just that. The ones I have used are LinkedIn. Make sure you have an excellent LinkedIn profile. You just do the job search and you filter where you want to go and what you want to do. You can also Google a list of international schools and that will lead you onto the right path. As well, there's a site called Dave's ESL Cafe. Just be careful though because there are lots of scams or you might get a bad job offer. You still might be able to find something there as well too though. If you go to YouTube, you will find many vloggers and videos about teaching English abroad, as well as understanding the culture in the different countries that you're interested in. These vlogs give invaluable insights. I also want to talk about another possibility if you're just not ready or you're scared or you're not sure what it's like to teach students from a different country in their own country. You can look online. There are many companies that need online English teachers and you can make an extra buck at home. One Chinese company is called VIP Kids. I know you can look at the reviews, they're mixed. But it is one professional company out there that pays okay and is looking for English teachers. And you can teach students from here in the comfort of your home. Well, until next time, this is Daniel in his little apartment office. I hope this video has inspired you to do something different. If that little spark becomes a flame, maybe next year you'll be on a plane going to a foreign country and teaching there. Until next time, bye.